chance and a call to action from Baltimore City School principals outside City Hall, outraged over the unresolved $130 million budget deficit. We will not stand idle in the face of a moral injustice. The principals of Baltimore City do not consider this a financial matter, but this is a civil rights issue. Mayor Catherine Pugh went to Annapolis asking the governor for help. He notes Baltimore City schools are among the highest funded per pupil in the state. But be clear, among the problems facing our system is that we have one of the oldest school systems in the, in the state. We have children who have been lead paint poisoned for decades. Yes, we require more. We've got greater problems in Baltimore. And the principals say solutions to those problems could be on the chopping block. These school budgets, even if they are balanced on paper, will not allow for a 21st century school experience. Holding their proposed individual school budgets, the principals highlight drastic cuts to teachers, support staff, after school activities, the arts, music, reading programs, and more. Baltimore, this is a moment for honesty. Councilman Zeke Cohen says the city budget prioritizes incarceration over education, with police getting nearly twice the funding as schools. This deficit is caused by our collective failure to prioritize our youth during budgeting. In a statement to 11 News, Governor Hogan pledged to continue working with city officials to try and find a solution. Uh, meanwhile, there are only about three weeks left to make changes to education funding in the state budget if the state is going to step in. Live at City Hall, Adam May, WBAL, TV 11 News.